where his latest piece almost finished. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, really excited about this. We are at Mark Foster's studio where he is working away. So the piece you're looking at right now, and I'm going to put my protective eye gear on, um, this piece is, it's been commissioned by someone local. It's going to go move into their backyard. So uh, Mark used it as inspiration for the piece that he's donating to Big Brothers Big Sisters. So um, I'm just going to wheel you on over to our, our mini table um, because these are the the more economical versions okay. <laughs> because okay, this one you. would be a little bit too much so come a little closer want to show off a couple pieces here and mark i know you're busy working away but if you want to pop up here we've got fire we have fire in the hole okay so hang on over here um what made you think that this would be a good piece to donate for big brothers big sisters i think they're really playful and i think that the kids can really relate to a fun paper airplane i mean what what more fun than to get to throw something that you crafted um, and as a big kid, I think it, it's always fun to play with different materials that are kind of emulative of that thing that was playful as a kid, like that thing. Yeah, and speaking of which, the, the Unimog in the background, that's, that's another big kid toy. Oh, we'll have to talk about that at another time. I want to introduce you to Teresa Scherber. She is the CEO and the, the president of our local chapter of Big Brothers Big Sisters. So the goal for October 14th, $100,000, and what does that money mean to the local community? Absolutely. So we have 53 children right now that are awaiting to be matched, and $100,000 would allow us to grant um, all of those matches and be able to not have a wait list. It would enable us to do 55. Okay, so with the money, what kinds of support are you giving um, to the, the, the bigs and the littles? Because I, I know there, there is a wait list, and that's one of the challenges because it is such a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. Absolutely. So the one-on-one -on -one mentoring, um, what it really enables us to do is to match a big and a little according to their strengths and what their interests are. And we have staff that helps support them along the way. So we, we're going to get the website linked for you so that if you're interested in volunteering for Big Brothers Big Sisters, if you're a local artist and you want to support the cause and maybe donate a piece of artwork to be auctioned off on October 14th or for one of the future events, um, or if there's a child in your life who is a child of a single parent who really just needs a little extra support and some mentoring, um, definitely want to get that his or her name on the list. Um, really in need of, of men to volunteer. Okay. There are a lot more, a disproportionate number of young boys in our community that are looking to be partnered with a Big Brother. And so any men out there who would serve as great Big Brothers, definitely a call to action. And let me just show you one more time the sweet airplanes uh, starting bid. I think we're yeah. going to start the opening bid. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I maybe I won't even say because I, I don't want to put the number out there. But they're looking pretty sweet. All right, back to you guys. Okay, flip your visor down and then say, "Luke, I am your father." <laughs> when burger stands.